You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. We've got lots of comings and goings news to discuss with you. We have a bad boy back, a dead girl possibly back from the other side, a mysterious new woman in town who might have ties to she-villain Sheila Carter and her lover boy fiancé Deacon Sharp. And there's also news on what Krista Allen is doing right now, an intriguing new offer that she is considering. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we would love it if you click subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's dive right into all this casting news. News. First, let's talk about Krista Allen. Of course, Bold and the Beautiful denied they had fired Krista and insisted that she was still on contract to play Taylor Hayes while allegedly already planning to fire her. She said she was completely shocked that they had her do the annual photos and then decided to kick her out the door, basically. And to me, it sounds like they were trying to calm down fans by saying one thing and then doing an entirely other thing. While they insisted she was still on contract, Kristen confirmed that they had quietly axed her. They canceled her two years into a three-year contract. So yes, you can have a multi-year contract and still be fired. Her last appearance was November 10th, 2023 about a month after they insisted she was still on contract and it was Krista that confirmed she had been axed. CBS Daytime seems content to let us think that she was still on contract while just cutting her out completely. It's kind of insulting to fans and you know in her place we have now got the Luna and RJ show the twosome consuming most of our episodes. So after B&B fired her because that is what it's called when you terminate someone's contract before it's over, no matter what they try to say, they fired her constructively. I mean, you know. Anyway, Krista left Taylor Hayes behind her and she bought a house in Atlanta. And she said she is now a bi coastal babe. And it is important to note that there are a ton of acting opportunities in Georgia. It is the Hollywood of, South, of the South. That's what it's called for a very good reason. There's huge studios down there, including Marvel. Disney has a bunch of stuff going on there. Tyler Perry Studios. There is just a lot. Netflix works a lot down there. Anyway, so it was around Christmas that Krista Allen settled into life in the South. And then in February, she reportedly was contacted about a new gig that is all about Atlanta, specifically about the real housewives of Atlanta. Krista said she got a very cryptic call, then said she couldn't really get into it, but said she was intrigued. Then she asked her followers, does anyone watch Real Housewives of Atlanta? Tell me all you know. That's what she said. Well, it would be really interesting if Krista Allen was added to the cast of RHOA, as it's known. I mean, it's got a big following. It's certainly a fun series to watch if you like reality TV catfights with a Southern flair. And Krista wouldn't be the only ex-soap star to appear on the Reality Housewives, fran the Real Housewives franchise on Bravo. There have actually been three other soap stars, but they were all on the West Coast version version, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Eileen Davidson, who plays Ashley Abbott over on Young the Restless, was on for several seasons, but now she's left. X Days of Our Lives actress Lisa Renna, who played Billy Reed on the NBC soap, was also a Real Housewife, but she is done with the series too. One person Krista really should call is fellow Bold and the Beautiful alum Denise Richards. Of course, she played Shauna Fulton, and she was also on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She left a while back, but then resumed filming some scenes last year, and I think she may still be filming. Uh, I don't know for certain if she is going to continue on the Bravo series, but it makes sense that Real Housewives of Atlanta would try and land a talent like Krista Allen. They just lost music star Candy Burris. She, she's alive, but she just walked away from the show. She's been an anchor of the Real Housewives Southeast franchise since 2009. So we'll just have to wait and see. 
Krista would need to be as dramatic in real life as she is on the soap to cope with all the other feisty women on Real Housewives. So we'll just wait and see if it manifests, but I might have to start watching Real Housewives of Atlanta again if she lands on the show. Now let's talk about two coming back next week that are linked to each other. That is Emma Barber and Xander Avant. We already know that Xander is due back to make more trouble for Thomas Forster during sweeps. That was part of official sweep spoilers. We don't have an air date yet. Again, I don't always trust the spoilers they give us, but they did say he's coming back. And then there was a script that Kimberlyn Brown flashed a glimpse of that listed the name Emma in an appearance set for February 19th. And so I, you know, wonder if they brought in Nia Sue, who played Emma Barber, and filmed some new scenes to use as flashbacks, maybe to reveal more to support what Xander's saying. I don't know. I do expect Xander to have more scenes with Finn when he's back. I'm still hoping to hear that Liam Spencer had some hand in bringing Xander back. I think that would be so soapy, but I don't give bold writers that much credit. I have However, I may change my stance on giving them credit if indeed they have written in Sheila Carter's devious daughter, Daisy Carter Callahan, and brought her over to Bold and Beautiful from Young and the Restless. On the 19th, we are supposed to meet this woman named Lucy, who is a mom who has a son named Danny, who is apparently a school chum of Kelly Spencer's. In case you do not know your Sheila Carter history from when she was over on Young and the Restless, those two names, Lucy and Danny, are of huge huge importance to the Carter family. So right now on Young the Restless currently, there's a teenager named Lucy who is Sheila's granddaughter. She is the child of Sheila's crazy daughter Daisy and Daniel Romilotti and Daniel's dad is named Danny. So for Bold and the Beautiful to pick the names Danny and Lucy, it just does not seem random to me at all. So we have scenes with Lucy at Steffi's house with her son Danny there and it looks like Steffi lets Lucy Lucy take Kelly out with Danny for lunch and guess where Lucy takes them to Il Giardino where Sheila is waitressing. I do not think that any of this is a coincidence. Remember Finn told Sheila to stay away from him and the kids and Steffi so maybe Sheila's got her daughter Daisy using a fake name her daughter's name Lucy to infiltrate Steffi and Finn's lives to keep tabs on them for her mother. I think we're going to know a lot once we see what happens when Lucy takes Kelly to Il Giardino and what Lucy says to Sheila. And we should also know this. Deacon Sharp should know who Daisy is. He knows Sheila Carter's twins, Daisy and writer Carter Callahan, because he once conspired with them to do very bad things when he was over on Young and the Restless too. If this Lucy woman really is Sheila's daughter, Daisy, and Deacon acts like he never met her before, that's some sloppy writing. I'm just going to call that in advance because he should recognize her immediately. So I'm really fascinated to see how it goes and if they get it right. I definitely hope that they do. So we also have Liam Spencer scenes. I don't know if we have any this week, but we definitely have some the week of the 19th when this mystery Lucy woman shows up. So stay tuned for more Bold and Beautiful spoilers and updates. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon. As always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 